Hi, I'm Delaine Lang, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the class that we're going to paint Saturday, May, uh, May 5th, at 8 to 3. Now, the, it's called Lighting the Way, and it's a Santa that uh, has a play of shadows and highlights that makes it an interesting project. This Santa's a 50's Santa, yeah, I, you know, the era that I grew up, and with the highlights and the second lights that make it sparkle. Have you ever wondered why the, um, um, why the, the um, suits of Santa sometimes just seem to glow? Well, it's because of the way the paint is applied to make this this glowing uh, color. I've begun with uh, Heritage, now just move right over to here. I've begun with Heritage Brick and I shaded this area. This is the area between the boots and the fur. And I've shaded this area with Payne's Gray. Now, after I've completed this, I'll take the pumpkin. Now, I'm using only Deco Art colors and I'm using royal brushes. Now this is hard. I'm putting, not hard to do, but a hard line. This is not even shaded or anything. I'm just putting in a, um, a hard highlight. Now I'm going to put this on and it's, it's pumpkin and it's pretty strong. Pumpkin and there's a little bit of light right here. You notice I'm not worrying about the edges that I have softened edges or anything. You can. You can concern yourself with the softened edges if you want to, but you don't have to. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for just a second. You can see the highlights on his, uh, on his pants, but uh, after this dries, kind of test a little bit, make sure it's nice and dry. I'm going to take a little bit of cadmium red and a little bit larger brush. I'm using a filbert because it has the soft edges. And I'm going to just begin putting this, this um, uh, cadmium red right over the whole of the, the shadows and the highlights of the uh, with the pumpkin. Now you can already see that it's beginning to get a little bit of a glow. The edges of the um, of the uh, pumpkin are disappearing into the cad red a bit and uh, it's just amazing how this will even out and become a, a pleasing uh, soft fabric with the glowing red. Okay, you say to yourself, well that looks pretty good, but I can still see exactly where the orange went. So, I'm going to give it another coat. Only this time I'm going to specialize and try to hit only the orange part. Because, again, I'm trying to soften in. I don't, I want this to have a darkness beside it. But, um, but I w don't want it to, um, uh, um, uh, become flat. So I may have just a little bit too much. No, I'm okay. Okay, if I could, I'm going to go back to my flat brush, I mean go back to the pumpkin color and just put a little bit on. Same places, those three main places. And that kind of helps a little bit there, too. Now, I can go over this as many times as I want to. But the idea is that by putting the dark color underneath and pulling up this light color, it gives it a glow that I can't achieve any other way. We'll also work on painting beards, features, and the way the extreme shadows cause uh, extreme uh, drama in our painted piece. So come on Saturday, let's paint together. I'll be looking forward to seeing you.